WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update. We got a little bit of a mixed bag out here. That mix coming again from the NASDAQ 100, the NASDAQ Composite. They're both down 124 and 94 points. That's about 1% and 9 tenths percent to the downside. To the upside uh, is the uh, Dow up 400 points, one and a quarter percent. The S&P is flat. The Russell's up 14, 8 tenths there. Semis are flat. Gold's off three bucks. Silver is flat. Lights we crude up a buck sixty three. Natural gas off two pennies. The thirty year treasury trading out at one twenty two eleven. That's up twenty eight thirty seconds. Let's go take a look at that nine panel market update chart as we begin. We'll look at the ES mini in the upper left hand corner. What we'll see is the A to B equal C D pattern. Pretty much completed yesterday. Didn't make it exactly to its price target. Its price target was thirty nine sixteen. The high yesterday, thirty eight ninety seven. Pretty close out there. Doesn't matter whether it makes it or not because uh, today should confirm a TD nine count top for the ES mini out there. Spot volatilix is trading below its 50 day exponential moving average. That is a bullish directional signal for the S&P 500. However, today will complete a TD nine count pattern. The ES will complete its pattern tomorrow. That suggests that the spot volatilix may start to move higher. And if it does close back above that 28.39, it'll be a, a move to the downside inside the S&P 500. The NQ out here, and we'll talk about this more so during the Trader's Edge show, uh, just some observations that we want to take a look at. Right now, price is just consolidating with inside its daily profile. It's between 10.917 and 11.631. The U.S. dollar index has found its footing. It's found its footing at the bottom of its bullish structure daily profile. That's at 109.64. If price does close below that, that will suggest lower price. But that is not the condition at the moment. Goldilocks consolidating with inside its daily profile between a support level of 1641 and resistance at 1682. Silver is testing resistance. It has the top of its weekly profile, 1957. A close above that should send price up to its descending trend line. Lights recruit consolidating with inside its daily profile should reach the top of the daily or top of the weekly. And that's between the range of 9094 to 9158. Natural gas, it does have a buy the D point bottom. It has led to a consolidation with inside his profile. It really needs to close above six dollars and thirty six cents to suggest that there is a change in trend. And the 30 year Treasury, it is now trading above the bottom of its daily profile. This is a profile that formed above price. It's typically a bearish message. Doesn't matter. You close above 121 and a quarter, price should make a move to the 12314 level. Folks. Stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show, but if you're off to start your Thursday, please have a terrific one, and we'll look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care.